My name is Ash T and I'm 17 years old and transgender, so my pronouns are he, him. When I was little, I had a lot of problems with self-image, depression, anxiety. I just always felt really uncomfortable in my own body and I didn't know why because I was raised in a pretty gender neutral household. So I never really had the disconnect of being put in super feminine environments and feeling like that was wrong. I just felt like something was wrong and I didn't know what for a long time. I was a cheerleader and there was the expectation for me to grow up and be this all-American girl with long blonde hair, blue eyes, be super talented at cheerleading, which was is a traditionally feminine thing. At that point was when I kind of realized that it wasn't really fitting me, was when I would go to perform and it didn't really feel right anymore. And then because I played a lot of sports in middle school, I got a pixie cut. I would start being called sir in public and I realized that it didn't feel weird. It like almost felt good. And then as I became more involved on the internet and was starting to learn things, I found the word transgender. And it was someone who didn't have the mental identity that matched the identity they were physically born with. A lot of the discomfort and anxiety in social situations and with my own body that I'd felt over the years all kind of started to make sense. And it was like I had finally found this word for the issues that I'd been facing. I definitely had support from my friends. My sisters were the same way, but for my parents, it was a little more difficult just because it was inverting their vision of what they thought I was gonna be like in the future. It wasn't that they didn't support me, it's just that they didn't understand. So it did take several years for my parents to realize that this was best for me. And soon after I came out to them, I transitioned socially and started going by my preferred name and pronouns. It took a few more years of that growth and my parents seeing how much happier and more comfortable I was in my own skin before they were fully on board with me medically transitioning because then at that point they fully realized what it meant that I was trans. Today is May 31st, 2017 and I am officially one day on testosterone. Today is June 14th and I am two weeks on testosterone. One month on T. Two months on T. Almost three months on T. I'm a little over three months on T. Four and a half months now on T. Five months on T. A little over six months on T. Almost eight months on T. Almost ten months on T. Today is May 31st, 2018, and I am now one year on testosterone. Uh, transitioning was definitely terrifying in every aspect of it. I still had no idea how people were exactly going to react. It was like I was standing up in front of the world and everyone else and asserting my identity and who I was as a person. Over time it got easier, but it's still difficult showing up in a space and being sure of who I am and telling people that they should respect it because it's who I am. I think the best moment with going through the whole transition, it was my first time that my little sister called me a him. And in the same sentence, she used he, him pronouns and called me her brother. I'm super close with my sisters, closer to them than anyone else. And it really felt right to be in this new dynamic, especially with my family. And the hardest thing is um, bathrooms. It was this weird in-between to where Regardless of which restroom I went into, people thought that I didn't belong. And so not having that space that I could feel like there was somewhere for me was really hard. And it definitely was a low point in that I really felt like I wasn't accepted in public as a trans person. For a long time, I actually dealt with the hardships that came along with being trans, um, especially with dealing with this kind of weird, in between uh, gender expression um, was through self-portraits and I would directly use that as a subject matter when taking artistic pictures of myself and kind of bringing those gender norms into question. Um, 
and then through that people looking at the pictures would question it too and it was kind of my way of having that conversation with people without being in a position to where I was comfortable to directly do that yet but then now I find a lot of comfort and reassurance um, in the support system that I have and knowing that there's people that I've surrounded myself with that are always going to be there for me to talk to when things are really difficult. Being trans today is really interesting. <laughs> um, I can't say that it's good, but I also can't say that it's bad because in most of the social environments I'm in, with the people that I surround myself with, it's very accepted for me to be trans and I'm seen as just as respected and inherently valuable as any other person. And that's something that I'm incredibly grateful for. And I have the means to be able to medically transition. My doctors support me through and through, but I've had bad experiences with doctors when I wasn't able to get adequate medical care at one point because my doctor refused to acknowledge the physical effects I was seeing as part of being trans. On a national level, I am denied from some of the most basic things such as serving the place that I live um, but then on an individual level I'm still able to find that acceptance and understanding and respect so I still haven't figured out yet how to fully navigate that but it's a process. The biggest thing that I do to try to spread awareness is just to be visible myself and to have direct conversations with people whenever I can um, largely just because I come from a place of incredible privilege in being a white guy that passes well as a guy because I have the money to be able to medically transition because a lot of times insurance doesn't cover that um, and being in an environment where I'm accepted and comfortable um, I am so lucky and grateful to get to have that and so since I'm in this place of security myself um, I try to use as much as I can to have the uncomfortable direct conversations with others that other trans people might not really feel comfortable with. Um, and then also just being visible as a trans person so that I'm available for anyone to talk to if they need it and can kind of hopefully serve as a point of guidance for other younger trans people. The biggest thing that just any person can do is talk about it. If you know a trans person and you hear someone else misgender them, call them out on it. Um, a trans person isn't gonna be upset that you respected them when they're not around. Um, that's just something that you should do. Use the right name and pronouns for people and have those conversations with people if they come up. And then also just reach out to, if it ever does come up, educate people with whatever knowledge you have. Even if you don't know a trans person directly, um, it still benefits so much just people that you might know in the future if you just educate yourself on what it means to be trans.